Welcome back to Rugby Scrum Skills. So today we're having a look at a scrum from the Leicester v Bristol game in the Gallagher Premiership. Not sure of the date it, that it was. It was in 2020-21 20, season. Um, it's just an old clip that I found as I'm going through some of the stuff I've got. Thought you'd get some interest in it. Um, it actually shows the Leicester Tigers win the hit and the loose head from the Tigers actually was able to fold the tight head in underneath him and win the penalty. Um, so I hope you really enjoy it. I hope you get something out of it. And like always, feel free to pass it on to anyone that you think can benefit from it. Okay, so let's have a look at this scrum, Leicester v Bristol. Leicester are in the green, Bristol are in the white. Okay, I'll show you the scrum at full speed and then I'll break it down for you. Okay, so that's the penalty, fair penalty. Uh, Bristol folded it on themselves. Okay, so let's take it back and work through um, what actually happened here. So we're at the bind there. Again, the referee seems to always be in the position I don't want him in to show you these clips. Okay, um, but as we go through here if we look we can see the shape sorry, the shape of the Leicester Tigers okay they're all pretty straight and in good position here but if we look here the bears are just a little bit out of position so they're not really exerting pressure on the bind okay that's the first thing I noticed from there and then as we roll it through okay Leicester have, have won the engagement okay so they've won the space across the middle the ball's in really quickly and now it's at the back of the scrum Okay, so no matter what happens, the ball is at the back of the scrum, so the 9 can pick it up and, and play if he wants to, the 8 can pick it up and play if he needs to, but the ball's at the back, so whatever happens at the front now, um, the referee may or may not let it go. Okay, so we can see here that good shape through here, where if we look at the Bears prop, he's coming across, okay, and he's a bit... Um, bit caught up through here not fully extended okay so for me the, the thing for me that he's he's boring in is that I can see his backside if his backside's pointing to one of the sidelines he's out of position okay so as we roll it through Bristol are putting the pressure on him and he's just, because Bristol are coming forward, he's folded in on himself. Okay, so he's folded in through here. Okay, and that's what's given the Leicester Tigers the penalty there. Okay, so if we roll it through, they're going forward. He's just collapsed under that pressure. So if we come back and watch it at a bit of speed, you watch, he collapses under the pressure as, as it goes forward. Okay, so he's not staying in the fight. He's lost his bind. Okay, so to again to try and compensate that, he just needs to fight through that, stay in the fight there. Okay, and work on getting straight and square. Okay, and use use his power to come through. Okay, as soon as he feels the pressure, his feet start to move. Okay, this inside foot here, this starts to move when the pressure comes through, okay, and that, that forces him out, because the pressure's coming through, there's no anchor at the back and through here, okay, so the only foot he can drive off is this foot here, which is then going to drive him across the scrum, so if he keeps his feet, he hasn't actually got his feet together, so he's got one foot there and one foot back here. 
Okay, we want them in line as we go forward, which will help him. But he's just folded in. He's rolled in under pressure. Lester has stayed square across the front row, applied the pressure, and just taken it down. So it's a pretty fair penalty, in my opinion. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that clip. I hope you were able to get something out of it. And just see the importance of trying to stay in the fight as a tight head. Um, get, staying square, staying low, not letting that loose head get underneath you. Um, and the importance of working as an eight. Again, if you haven't subscribed already, feel free, hit the subscribe button down below. Give me a like, send me some feedback, send me some comments, I do read them all. Um, but again, hope you got something out of that. Feel free to pass it on to anyone that you feel can benefit from it. Um, this is all about helping players and coaches develop their set piece. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Thanks.